So I'm, I've opened up pictures in my camera roll already. So we're talking about camera roll, how to build up our pictures inside camera roll. So I've opened up a lot of pictures. So with this, or with all these pictures, I'll be showing you different, different examples. These are corporate shoots I did today. So I'll be drawing different, different examples as each picture has different lighting system. And apart from just having a different lighting system, there are different individuals and different locations in the office. So I'm going to be building up this picture gradually. So out of the whole, I'll be picking some. So someone like this now, I think I have just one of our portraits. So first thing for someone to do with this picture is to consider highlight. See, there's a lot of highlight here. There's a lot of highlight in this session. All these highlights in this session, I will tone it down a little. And what? Look at that face closely. I'll press P for before and after. You see, the part of our face is now more pronounced before and after. Good. One sec. Thank you. Video coverage in Ogun State. Two days. Video alone, Abi. Ogun State. One, one thirty, one twenty. Uh, so just stick for one fifty. They can't know, but the rest you can go with say hundred minimum. Yeah. So you the only person who sat down with 100 in my daughter. I think this 100 is small, sir. Mm -hmm. Alright, so sorry for that. Um, okay, I've reduced the highlights and again down in the white a little. Then I turn off. No, let me return the. And bring back white back in YouTube and then bring down the what is highlight in this computer? Okay, so highlights are parts where there's white, there's highlight. So white that is bright is the highlight. Okay. So a white part of a picture that is bright. So these parts are white now, right? Okay. Some here there's a lot of light and in this environment. These are highlights. Okay. Well, minus highlights, white is still retained. Right, we are white here. So I've removed the highlight completely minus 100. But well, yet we still have the white. So there's white, all the white now turned to ash. There's highlight. So highlight is light, white is a color. Right, so I'll take back my white a little, bring back white in this image. Black is a color. Why this one is light? Shadows is light. So when you are dimming, when you are increasing your shadow or decreasing your shadow as the case may be, know that you are dealing with light. That means you are increasing or decreasing your light. So I'm taking the white part to the normal position and I bring back darkness a little and see what this can do. Then the next thing I want to do to the image is what? Go to clarity. Add a little bit of clarity. What clarity does is to pop out the image. So when I increase my clarity, you see how the image becomes strong. Then when you reduce your image, when you reduce it, everything becomes one. So not clear. Everything can just mesh together. So there's no separation. So I'll hide a little bit of clarity. Now if I've gone here, to take this back to the center, to the default, I double click it. Take it back to the normal. Then I just increase it a little. The next thing I want to do is to add color. Now this is a corporate environment, and because I show I shot on 1.8 aperture, there's a very thick depth of field, a very very thick depth of depth of field here. The background is blurry, so I need those colors to pop out. The colors in the background to pop out. So I'll add a little bit of vibrance. Too much of it will spoil the image. So I will just add a little bit of vibrance. Then I'll come here under. HSL adjustment. I will add red because of our lips. I will reduce my orange a little, add yellow. Now, watch, I used to go down before I go up again. So, I, I will know those areas that have yellow in the image. Okay. 
So here now we have yellow here, yellow here, all these places are yellow, then add green. So there's a green leaf around here. Then add blue. See? So we need those blues to be pop, to pop. And that's that about that image. So let's check before and after. I will pay, I will press P for before and after. See the development we've done to this image already. Before and after without Photoshop. Next thing is I'll look for another image. I like this image. So first I will just pick up the blue. Hmm? But she is wearing blue. She's wearing blue. So I just pick up the blue like that. For too much of it, I'm very happy. I'm already having a duration, yeah. it's got color duration. So I'll reduce that a little. The next thing is I will reduce this orange because the orange in her face. Increase the red, then pop out my yellow. See, so again, a lot of these places can add colors too. Right? Then go back to my work basic. So in the basic I will use the highlight a little. Maybe I'll just increase the highlight. Anyway, I will increase the highlight. I've opened up the shadows before. Then add a little bit of contrast, then add more color. Before and after. You can look it up already. So next thing is I will look for that image to edit. He's a man of God. I don't know if I like this picture, but let's see what we can do about it. Let's see what we can do about it. I'm going to reduce that idea. Like that too. Before and after. Right? Add a little bit of more, a little bit more color. Go to light and get to it. Remove space, remove space. And we go before and after. We turn it to each other. And we look at uh, the mother. I will use the highlights on the background. You see the effect of that. Yeah. So I can bring back some details from that over exposed area in this in this window area. So I'm gonna reduce the white a little and open up my shadows to complement that color. Open up my exposure a little. Give it what? Clear it. Okay. Pop up my color. Before and after. I'm not done. I'm going to go to my HFs, HSL, color adjustment place. Bring this down a little, increase my yellow, increase my green, increase my blue. Increase this and that. And I'll be done very soon. So, it's a back and forth process, so you can't just say ah, this one is just the way you did one is the way you did the other one. Just be going back and forth to get what you really want. I need more black in this image. Then this the highest is the new is the new uh, feature okay. inside Camera Raw. It's as in it came in 2019. It came in 2019. So if you have not prepared your Camera Raw, no, it. So you saw the effects of that, it had a lot of color contrast to the image. Hmm? It had a lot of color contrast to the image. So I'm going to add it a little, then we go before. And after. We have color depth now. More color depth to the image. So the next stop is what? This woman. I don't like that image. So we're going to be treating this one. Now first thing for us to see that our face around here, we can't really see our eyes. It's because the highlight is too much and popping down the highlight before and after. Before and after. Reduce the white a little. Add more black to the image. Open up my shadows. Clarity. The hairs. And this one. So I'm going to reduce my hairs a little because the red is getting too much. So I'm going to come here. Reduce the red. Open up my yellow. Blue in the shirt, then I just had these two colors for no reason. Open up the shadow a little bit more. Let's do before and after. Before and after. 
Okay, so we're going to the next image of this one. So let's read this image, okay? Okay, next image. So I'm going to reduce the shot. Uh, I think the eyeliner is perfect. So I'm going to increase the exposure and open up the shadow. Open up the shadows, reduce the white, bring it down a little bit more, add more black. Just see the way I'm tagging it gradually. I'm not adding too much. Yeah. When it gets too much, the picture just becomes too colorful. Not what we really want. So mostly, most often than not, what I usually play around with is highlight, shadows, white, and vibrant. So before and after, let's go to color. Reduce the red. The red in this case is too much. So reduce this one and open up my yellow. Really the picture. So we're done with that. We add this. No, I add this image here. So I'm going to reduce this. Open up my red. Add blue. So this flare can be blue. Can be blue on, a, on, a on this shirt. So I will add the blue. Reasonably, too much of everything is bad. It's for your picture. Only I'm just to put everything. Because they just maybe they just learned about it. The clarity we need to so I, I, I can get more details in the face. Then a little bit of vibrance. And that's that. I'm going to increase my exposure a little, too much. A little. So next up is these people, all of them together. First, I will crop this image. I don't need all these places showing. I don't need all these ones showing too. So I'm gonna crop this image like this. Hmm? Yeah. Now look, this place is brighter than here. So I'm gonna reduce the highlights. Almost the same. Open up the shadows. Reduce the white. Add a little bit of black. I'm not gonna add in black. I'm gonna add a lot of color to this. Yeah, this one, this person is blue, yeah, this is the focus. Alright, so, uh, maybe I don't like this picture. Is it a good picture? No. Alright, so let's build up on this one. This is a white cloak. So when you do too much on white, the white cloak becomes what? Blue. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to do too much, so I'm going to reduce the highlight here. I'm not going to touch the white, else when I reduce the white, it becomes okay, it's not bad. I reduce the white a little, then open up my shadows a little, and place the light in this image of space. Right? And add a little bit of clarity, just a little, add a little bit of color. A little bit of color. It's dark, and it's very dark. Have you? Yeah. So, but the image looks bent, right? Yeah. So to correct that is using our straighten tool. Okay. So when I click on my straighten tool, I will look for a place that need that are supposed to be straight. Then let's say this maybe the person that hand this thing and this well, that means this thing is supposed to be straight. Then we trace that straight line and read it. So this one is get straight so I'm going to undo it pick this straight into 
look for a line that is supposed to be straight. So let's say this frame is supposed to be straight, but it's bent like this a little. So you're going to trace the, the part of the frame that's supposed to be straight hmm? and leave it. Press enter to straighten the image. Okay. So to straighten the image by what you have already created, let's do that again. Press straighten. Let's say this frame is supposed to be straight here. We draw that straight line. That was a straight. That was a straight straight line. So let's say we draw that straight line and we press OK. Right. So we come straight. Or well, it should not affect the, uh, the object. No, it just it just shifts the frame of the picture. Okay. Just to shift the frame of the picture like this. Another alternative to that is this. Pick your crop to hmm? okay. go to the edge like this. Let me do that. Go to the edge like this till you see something like this. You know I don't want. I'm going to reduce the size. Edge like this until you see something like this, then work on Crop to now. Have Okay. I got only crop to here. I will use this one to straighten it. Hmm? Okay. I'll write on that. So this will be see because it's a crop that's cropped a lot of part of which I don't want. So that's why I prefer to use what to straight into. So I'm going to take this back to the way it was. Press my these two and just create a straight line that we need to go to the straight. And create that. We need the straight now. So, uh, I think we're done with this one before. We'll go to the next image, which is this. Now, because I snap this and this and this and this and this, we're using almost the same camera setting in the same angle. I will mark the, fall, the one I have done a lot of work on. Let me increase the blue because of this chain. Have it? Yes. And I'll do on that chain. Not too much, just a little. Else, everything becomes that you wash it. So I'm gonna click on that okay. and press my shift key and go to the last image and press and click. So I'm I've highlighted, I will right click and synchronize setting. So when I press synchronize setting, I'll press OK. So all what I've done there we yeah, have affect all the pictures apart from the straighten. So we can do before and after, before and after, before and after. The next thing we can do now is just to straighten up the image. Straighten on top, we pick our straighten, straighten at the image straightener. Come to the one we are using to straighten, leave it, press OK. I think it's not, it's bent. Is this straight like this? Confirm that it's straight. Alright, so next one. So this one now is bent like this, have you? Yeah. So we need to straighten it up. We pick our straightening tool here. We drag, look for a piece that is that's supposed to be straight. We drag. We so you can straighten something. It's a lie. And the picture where they snap, snap, snap. You can straighten them out. What did you do? So say this one is slant like this, have you? We want to make it straight. Uh -huh. We take our straightening tool here. Yeah. We look for a line that's supposed to be straight. We just draw that line. We leave it and press enter. Straight into the line. So that is this. So we are done with that. So we don't even, we just need to look maybe. Anything is wrong at any junction. Excess like that. Yes. So let us see maybe anything is wrong or maybe anything we can do to prepare the image. I think everything is good like this, have we? Yeah. Up next is to the purple stamps. 
I'm reducing highlights because of the slopes. Reduce a little bit of white. Open up my shadows a little. I think I like the shadow cast. Open up my shadows a little. Reduce my black. Open up contrast a little. Add vibrance. Just small vibrance. So next up is what I don't usually use this, but I'm just add it for adding sake. I will reduce my red. Hmm? This is what I'm supposed to have made. Get a little bit of blue into this image and I'm done. So we have it before and after. It before and after. Just a little difference, but makes a lot of difference. Alright, so let's say. Yeah. One, one, one. Okay. I'm going to let it see well after I'm done. Alright, when I'm done with it, I won't make it day back. It's a little nappy. You know the bit of gloss of Nifa in the paper. So I need to drink a lot more of this and I trust in more and less. And if I do everything, so we we'll have lots of pictures as long as I don't know. Mm -hmm. In the book mm -hmm. photo book uh, design, we'll keep it down. I, want, I know why I want me to be with it down. Not only you, I want me to be the best way to do it. And I had a new print that I was going to have to see what you did. You know, you know, you I'll be by this next. Okay, so I use the crop tool to do that one right there. I use the crop tool to straighten it to see the way the image was spent before. So I use this line here with the crop tool. Straighten the image so I think that the mistake there. So, thank God I'm doing the visiting. Let's use that line. Align that table. That table by the furniture stand that's supposed to be straight. So, I click OK. That straightens that image right there. Then, look at this image. So, this image needs to be cropped because I don't want his leg to be showing under this table. So I will just crop this image like this. Then to balance it, I will just bring it up like this. And press what? Enter. So I will use the highlight. Hmm? Okay. Use the white. Give a little bit of black into the image. I will use highlight more. Reduce the white, reduce the exposure a little, open up my shadows, reduce this. Are you getting it? Yeah. I don't know why they want to see so I prefer this to this. Have it? Yeah. Which one do you prefer? This one. Yeah. So let's say, reduce the highlights. We do this, we open up the shadows, we add a little bit of more light to this image, contrast. Yes. Where's the time? It's 24. It's 24. Yeah. Oh, the day is younger. You mm -hmm. guys can close the LED. Yeah. I'm going to pack that image like that. Right? Yeah. But this image in post production will give us a lot of problems. I don't know why I did not put all this thing away from this thing. Okay, all right, so we are still going for that. Right. I like this image. Just going to use highlights a little, open up the shadows. This is just good way to watch me. And this image was good the way it is. Happy? It's just good the way it is. Are so, yeah, it's a little bit So let's do it again. There is no more to work. No, no more to work. That tool was snapped in a packet. This is nice. I like it. All the highlights do it. So before. And after. The focus came to the front. I'll use the highlights again. I already saw the magic. 
Let me go to this box one too. So that is that about that is that about what? Uh, I'm a I don't know. Uh, What's that to Hello? Sorry. Hello? Hello? I'm just going to go down the camera. Come on, judge. Alright, apologies for that. That's a business code. I need your money. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ones I already edited. You know, it's not all the pictures I edited. How do I know the ones that have been edited? You see this thing here. So this one I didn't edit it. It's not there. So I will select all the pictures that I have that kind of stuff. So one, let me add a little bit of warmness to this image. It's too, it's too blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 10, 20, 21, 22. That's a lot of pictures. Alright. Click purple image. Then you look for it to load one of that. Is your camera starting open Photoshop? Yes. Camera roll is a function inside Photoshop. So, you must have Photoshop because where is my camera? You can have camera roll as an independent software. Is a plugin inside Photoshop. So when you move in your raw pictures into Photoshop, it opens first to a camera. So you allow the pictures to load one after the other. While that is loading, let me come back my phone. Okay, so you make the still opening. I'm trying to reply my messages on WhatsApp so you have not been replying your message. Sorry. Mm. 
taking some pictures. If you have a song, I love money, you go. I thought you did, I don't love it. Okay. I want to do these pictures for website. They will be going on their website and um, as they are in it. So you need to replace this when you book picture. It has to be a, a very high end something that's what I'm using since 2019. So you know that I'm here, I'm saying. So I'm opening Adobe system. It doesn't really make any difference. I'm just hyping it. Yeah. <laughs> um, if possible, the pictures will be appearing on my page. If the company gives me the permission to do that, Okay, so the pictures are finished up now. But first, I love to start with a very good picture. That's between Ginger. You want Okay, so I'm going to start with any of these ones. Beautiful woman. I'm going to start with this woman. My godmother. So what am I going to do with that? Frequency separation, you know how to do it already, right? Huh? So, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can download my shortcuts. So, my shortcuts for this, I will just bypass everything. If you have not learned this, watch my video about frequency separation. I've done that, it should be on my YouTube channel. So, I'll press 3, I usually use 3. Some professional use 14, but come on. 3 does not bite. So I used to I like to load in and zoom in. Then I pick my brush, mix the brush too. And I start to brush slightly. Hmm? Same difference. Same difference now. Four and after. So I'm gonna increase that brush a bit too. Brush to the side of my head. We'll put it on fifteen. So I'm brushing according to the way the, the structure of the face is. As I'm brushing, I'm going exactly now because that place is round. So here now, I will go down like this. I'll brush it down like this. Hmm? Okay. The thing is sluggish today. I don't know why. Back of my work. When I get back to Lagos, I will do that in the at the moment. I will do a little back up, back up, back up. I really don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I'm not going to 
Manchester, face of Manchester. So let's see what we can do with I'm working on the uh, low frequency. Uh, follow. Follow. Yeah, let's blend in the colors gradually. Not too much. Not too much. Just small, small. So here we are. Then I'm going to zoom back in. See, the pimples did not remove it. Yeah. I'm going to go to the texture. And pick my stamp too. S for stamp. Start to remove pimples. See that? I told you that pimples go with what? The texture. So pimples are on the texture layer. The air that is on our face is on the texture what layer. And removing all that. You see that? How that is just doing it effortlessly. Effortless. Let's see if I don't know why. Right, so, say before and after it. I think I made it up the face a little bit. The shadows and the highlights are not together. But we're going to correct that so we'll come to our work. Dodge and burn. So there's a shortcut for my dodge and burn already. I'm just going to apply it and drag this up and I will hide the frequency separation layer. So I start to burn and dodge. So I'm going to burn my hair to make it black properly. Flow is on minimum. That's what we got. And four. So I'm just looking for areas that also have shadows. And this. And close this part. Don't worry if it's too much. Mm -hmm. We are still going to reduce it. And I'm still going to do a lot of justice to that. I'm still going to blow it. So four and after. Four and after. Then I'm going to change back to what dodge. So in dodge, I'll just dodge this for it. I want to have the light. Ready? Dodge this part. Dodge this part. Dodge this part. To give her a beautiful smile. Dodge her teeth. Dodge her lips. Then I'm going to burn her lips. So I don't want to go back to bond so I can press down my alt key. So once I press down my alt key, that it will switch back to bond. But when I'm when I'm stroking, I must what press my alt key down. So I, I'm, I'm not pressing alt key again because I'm dodging now. Just want to dodge that part of our air. So we say before and after. Happy? So we're going to blur that layer. So let me on, on let me make this one visible back. Before and after. Makes more sense now. Back. So let's go to the original image. To go to the original image, I press on my alt key and click. So before and after. This is where we we are now. This is where we were. So I'm going to go here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to reduce this blur so we can see what we painted on our face. I'm going to reduce the blur a little. I'm going to blow it in like that. Is that good? Yeah. So I'm going to major the layers into what? Yeah. One layer. So by to do that, I press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, B. Fantastic. I'll go back to what? My camera. I thought this is my, like my best ever. So in camera roll, what I'm going to be doing is increase the color.
Here's the first track. Okay. Right, so I will start to do what? Color grading. I have a tutorial on color grading on my YouTube channel. Then to first, okay, to start color grading, let me start with selective color. So I'm picking the red. I'm going to pick just this to the red color. I'm adding red because I need this image to be with the pencil and the Okay. On somebody's website, so making this up. So your own might not be on your kind of presentation, but you know what I mean, sir. Just trying to get a good job done. So let me say, why do you pop a number so much number? That's okay about that. I'm going to go to my box. I already have some presets for my box, so and I use Lexonite. It went well, but that's not what I wanted to achieve. So I can use, I have John Lecon 2, not bad. John Lecon alone, not bad. John Lecon cool, not uh, nice one. So let's go back to Lexinet, but that's not what I want to achieve, so I'm going to reduce the capacity of Lexinet. Go really well. So just a little bit different on that, then I'm going to go to... What should I use again? I will see the ad. That is my, that is my, that is my last point. So my level is telling me to add a little bit more light to this image. So, levels, I'm going to reduce the capacity. I don't get too much. Hmm? So, this regular, I'm going to increase it back a little. I'm going to add gradient map. Okay. I'll just reduce the capacity of the gradient map. All of them can have the same kind of tone. Hmm? Yeah. Then I'm bringing the gradient map up. So with this gradient map, what I'm doing, doing is what I want to remove up from the map. So I'll click on the mask. I'll press my brush tool, go to the original brush tool, increase it. I'll reduce my flow to 50. So, so by using my flow to 50 means that um, you know I want to remove this thing from my face. So I'm not removing all. I'm removing half, 50 percent of it. So I'll just brush it black. Hmm? Control shift of E to make the layers into one, one layer. Then I had John Lecon to this. In my call, I had JF. Just to make sure the color group together. So before, I'm going to add the color group. I'm going to go back to my levels and add a little bit more color, to, I mean the brightness to the image. So in that.
right? So that is that about that. Next thing is what? Merge everything to what? One layer again. Why do I merge everything to one layer? Why not just merge everything together? So that I can work on a new layer while others are still there. So if I make a mistake, I'll just go back. It's called non destructive editing. So this layer that I have done, I will duplicate it. I will go to filter, order, I pass. And I will add three. I'll click OK. And I don't worry, it's going to get better. So here now we're going to do what? Go to vivid light or linear light. So let's use linear light. It's too much. So let's use vivid light. Before and after. Before and after. I'm going to go back C, I, Z. So let's go to the before, before, of the before, before, and after. Did we do a good job or not? Mm -hmm. So I used to do this a lot of times, so my eyes can see where or where it's wrong. So I'm doing before, I will be doing it a lot of times, so I can see maybe there's no mistake with this image. I'm looking at different angles, different angles. Different times. Perfect image. The next thing is just to add our logo. We are done. Yeah. So because it's a perfect work, I'm not going to add any logo to it. So we're going to pay for the copyright. Control Shift Alt S. I don't forget because I said they are going to be using for website. So I will, I will be what saving for web. It's important. So we know control shift of S. Send slow. Sluggish system. Why? You guys should pay for my class and let me go and buy a new system so I can do a better class for all of you. Jesus name. Save. Slow. Slow. Is it generated? No. So I used to change all my documents to my name. Hmm? So I'll use camera boy. One, two, three. One, two, one. One, two, one, two. So that class is done a bit.